Whoops. I lost my thing. Second. Second. Okay, good morning. As we go to the Chumash, we did the Kitas of today. Start the Chumash of today. Today is Tuesday, the third reading of the portion of Chaye Sada. Chapter 24, verse number 12. So Eliezer took. Ten camels, Magmale Adona from the camel of his, of his master of Ramavino. And he went with Adona, he went with all the goods of his master. Yod in his hand. And he went and traveled to Aram Naraim. El Nachar to the city of Nachar. Rashi says they were distinguishable from other camels. And the fact that they would go muzzled, Avram of Avinah's camels were always muzzled to prevent them from robbery. They wouldn't eat in other people's fields. Chol to Adonabiyad, he had all the best of his mass. What does it mean? He wrote a gift. Avram Avinah wrote a gift deed to Isaac, everything he owned. He wrote him a document saying that whatever I own really goes, to, goes to my son Isaac. So it'll be hasten to send his daughter. They'll see that he's going to be that the, that the future son in law will be a rich man. Aram Naraim, Aram has two rivers, and Sitra in the two rivers. That's what's called Aram Naharaim, Aram of rivers. They made the camels kneel besides outside the city. Besides the well of water, they said at evening. They say Hashavim at the time when the maidens came out to draw the water. As she says, what does it mean? Yivrech? He made them lie down. He said, The God of love, the Lord, the God of Abraham, I can nullify these cause to happen to me today. I say, Chesed in my day, Avram, and do kindness with my master Abraham. Behold, I'm sitting, I'm standing at the water fountain. And the daughters of the people of the city are coming to draw water. And it will come to pass the maiden. Which I will tell her. Give me some water. I want to drink. And if she says, stay If she says to drink and also give the camel to drink. If she has kindness, then I see that she is the right one. That's how I see they have done kindness with my master. As she tests, she is worthy for him to perform acts of kindness. And is she fit to enter the So therefore, she's fit to enter the house of Abraham, who is the concept of kindness. An expression of supplication, let me let him known through her. If she'll form, if she'll be from his family and fit for him, I'll know that you've formed loving kindness. Verse 15, finish speaking. And behold, Rivka goes out. She yelled the of milk, which was born to the soul the son of milk. Aishas Nacha, the wife of Nacha. Achi Avram's family, the brother of Abraham. Shikma, and she had a picture on her shoulder. Verse 16, And this, this girl was extremely beautiful. Basula, she was a she was a virgin. She had no relation other than the man. 
she went down to the fountain, and she filled her pitcher and she went up. And since the daughters of the Gentiles were reserved in virginity, were promiscuous in unnatural ways, the scripture attests that she was completely innocent. She was a holy, that's so difficult as compared to like a, uh, uh, a, uh, a rose between the thorns. And the, 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 the servant ran towards her. He told her, she said, please, let me sip some water from your pitcher. Why do you run towards her? Now she says, she saw, he saw that the water came up towards her. And he never saw this, only said that by Avram Avinu, that the water goes towards him. So that's when he saw that she's a righteous girl. Agmenila, Russian is swallowing, let me swallow some water. Verse 18, she said, I didn't drink, because she hastened to take a picture to her hand and she gave him to drink. Took it off her shoulder to give it to him drink. Verse 19, she finished giving the drink. She said, I will also give to your animals. I didn't kill the taste until though we finish the drink, I'll give them enough to drink. But we hear the word, here the word im, ad im, is used as special shed that until they will continue. They will finish drink Uncas Rendis until they had enough, because at the end of the drinking, when they have drunk their fill. In my hand, she rushed. She emptied the pitcher into the thaw. She ran again to the, to, the, to the water. To take more water. She gave water to all his camels. The Russian expression of emptying. There are many examples in language in the Mishnah that the word ma'ara, all these expressions of emptying. They throw a hollow stone which the camel drinks to the throw. And the man was astonished at it, standing in silence, waiting to know if the Lord has caused his way or not. As she says, the meaning of astonishment and startlement because he was, he saw his efforts on the verge of exceeding, but he did not know yet if it was Abraham's family or not. He not be just surprised by the tough in the word mishtoy, because there is no word whose first root is a shin, which is, is used in the inflective form, and not the letter tough. Okay, that, this, this is the grammar rations go right. Mishtoy, mishtoy malau. He's astonished about her, as above says that he's saying about me. Here's, here's your brother. He's in mishtoy. He's, in, he's, he's like wondering because everything is working out. Besides, he's not sure if it's, fun, it's fun, if Abraham's family or not. That's the only thing he's worried about. Verse 22, it came to them when the Gemalim finished the drinking. The man took out a golden nose ring, weighing a half a shekel. He took out two bracelets on her hand. Asadas of Mishkalim, which weighed 10 gold shekel. He gave her right away gifts. He was so sure that this was the right one. Becca, now she says, this was a lewd, this, this shows to the shekel that the Jewish people would later give, half a shekel. Nate Smidim, he gave her two tablets. This is the two tablets that the Jewish people received. Asada Zav, that weighed 10 gold pieces. This is to the Remez, to the Ten Commandments. I hear him about me out and he asked, who's, the, who's your family? Is there a place of lodging in your father's house? And as she says, he asked her after giving her the gifts because he was confident the merit of Abraham, the only one blessed me, had caused him to, wait to prosper. He thought he was sure he was successful because of Avraham Avinu. Lalin, Lalin means is, is, is Lalin is the plural. 
Or Rash says it means for one night lodging. But should we apply lull in many, many lodgings? She answered, you know, you don't have to stay here one night, you can stay here many nights. She said, I am the daughter of Besuel, Ben Milka, who is the daughter of the son of Milka, as she yelled to the Nachar, who was the, was the son of Nachar. So she told him his total, total three history, the history. I am I'm the daughter of Besuel, who is the son of Nachar, who is the son of, uh, of Milka, who is, uh, was born to Nachar. The second he said that, he knew, the, he knew her family. She answers first question first, and the second last question. To the second question, you ask if we have lodging, don't worry. We have both straw and fodder plenty with us. We have a place of lodging. You're welcome. So all the camel's food is called mispah, such as straw and barley. But now that he told her who she was, so right away he knew that this was Avram's family. And the man that Eliezer kneeled and prostrated himself before God because he saw that God had successfully brought him to the right, exactly to the right. Every Shidduch would go this way. Okay. We are holding we're holding in the, the middle of the 29th letter of the Alter Rebbe uh, in the in the Chitas of the day. Alter Rebbe is talking about that the Zoya talks about the concept of mitzvahs. And what's the aspect of a mitzvah? This is the concept of what the Zoya writes. Is a Kodesh Pasha because the Inun of the Toven, the Zaya writes in Pashmak Kudah, the good deeds, mitzvahs, the Ovid Banash, which a man does, Moshchi Nahara de Ziva Ilam Vusha. He elicits a garment from the light of the supernal splendor. And they behold the pleasant of the God. Also, the Zay concludes they experience a pleasurable thirst. So they receive a garment from Chetzainis, like the simple meaning is they receive a garment from the outer aspect of Kesa, which is the Ratz, in the will of Kesa. And through that, the Zayah says they receive the pleasure of Limius, the essence of Kesa. Even though the Zayah over there speaks about the lower garden of Eden. We know in Kabbalah is Ganeid Natachten, is the lower part of Ganeidin, and is Ganeidin Elyon, is the higher level in Ganeidin. There's many levels in Ganeidin, as we mentioned previously in, 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 in Tanya, but the, in general, divided into two, into two parts Ganeid Natachten, the lower Ganeidin, the Ganeidin Elyon. Ganeid Natachten is more in, in Kabbalah, it's more connected to the physical parts of Mitzvah. Well, as the general, as the neshama travels to Ganeid and the alien, over there, he does know, he, over there he goes to the ethereal, he goes to the spiritual parts of every mitzvah. So, might have Ganeid that and over there, the Zayr is talking about the lower Ganeid with the garments that arrive from truly particular commandments. So they result not from the supernal will as above, but for the merits of physical actions, the the, 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 the Zerub, they're talking about the push through a mitzvah of physical action affects the higher, the, the lower Ganeidin. Upper Ganeidin, the alien, the upper Ganeidin, Alvushem Rusa, the garments derived from love and devotion of the heart. So the two kinds of garments, really, they're garments that come through the physical action of a person. The physical action that a Jew does in this world, mitzvahs, mice, and table. That's why most Yidden reach up to Ganeid Natachtan, because Malayim mitzvahs kedim. All Jews are full of mitzvahs, like a pomegranate. So all Jews are full of mitzvahs, therefore we all reach up to Ganeid Natachtan, we all reach up to the lower Ganeid. 
who can go up to the higher Gan Eden? Those that have Avas Hashem and Yidas Hashem. Those who did mitzvahs with love of God and fear of God. That means that they elevated their mitzvahs to a higher level. They didn't just do the mitzvah, which is an unbelievable thing in itself, that we just do the mitzvah. But they did the mitzvah with Rosh Hashanah. Now they have, they, when they do it, when I do a mitzvah in this world, with Abbas Hashem, Yiddish Hashem, with love of God and awe of God, then automatically I create a concept, I, I, I have another garment. I've gotten myself with another garment, the garment of Avanira, which in Kabbalah, it's, it's called the garment, it's called Gatfayim, it's called also the wings of, of the mitzvah. So, uh, so that's the beauty of, the, of, of, of doing something, Avashem, Yiddashem, because that gives you the capability to go to Ganeit and the Elyeh. While the upper Ganeit, the garment is right for the love and devotion of the heart with respect to the Torah and prayer, as stated in the say. So the Dari state that once the soul possessed, while the lower Ganeid and the garments of mitzvahs are derived from physical action, it then rises to upper Ganeid. However, this devotion, or whence these garments arrive, refers to the devotion one who occupation of Taylor for his own sake, Taylor Lishma, out of one's love of God. That one deludes trade in this world not because of ulterior motives, but only because he loves Akadish Baruch, because he loves God, Abba. Um, that, that's called Taylor Lishma. You can learn Taylor for the sake of learning Taylor. And that's a Lishma for the sake of God. Meets the Tama of Taylor, he can't come to the Mason. And then there's a mitzvah to learn Taylor. There's a, there's a, a learning to is a mitzvah itself. So it's a, it's a, it's a physical mitzvah to learn to That's the beauty of learning to When you learn to you do two things. You get a mitzvah and you learn to Automatically, two out, two things in one shot. He must also have a mitzvah because the movement of the lids of learning to is like regarding an action. That's why you should not learn only ten with your heart, with your mind. Really, you can learn ten with your mind. You can sit and have only listen and only think about ten, right? You don't have to say it, but that's not right. You're not, that's not really doing it correctly. A Jew needs to learn ten with his mouth. And the meditation does not count as speech. So, that, so when I speak with the Torah, I accomplish two things. I'm doing a mitzvah, I'm doing an action, and I'm also doing something that is a that is totally spiritual concept. It's above action, Torah. You don't do the mitzvah without with meditation. I can meditate from today and tomorrow on God, but I didn't do the mitzvah, learning Torah. And so to pray. If I only meditate in prayer, or I think the words of prayer, I don't say the words of prayer, I didn't do the mitzvah. So both Torah and prayer acquire action. Even the garments that are created by the devoted to Torah and prayer are considered to be derived from the tangible and active aspect of mitzvah. They too are garments that derive from the higher, from the light of Kesem. And certainly so concerning superiority devotion cover over speech and action. In so much as devotion can create garments for the soul in the upper Ganim, it is not true, it is not due to their own merit as in loving service of God. Because of the radiance of the supernal world. When mitzvahs is reformed, the radiance of the supernal will is more manifest. It's more spiritual aspect in its devout and loving intent than its tangible and physical aspect. Which As explained in chapter, in the beginning of Tanya, chapter 37. Now, the Rebbe explains there that the illumination with the supernal will that shines within the devotion 
that, that accompanies an action is likened to the soul related to the illumination that shines in the action itself, that is likened to the body, the garment of the soul. The difference thus is only in the degree of the contraction or the emanation of the space. From the above, it's clear, even the garments of the soul that are created from devotion and feelings that accompany Torah and prayer also result only after from the radiance of the supernal will, which is the supernal kesed ultimately. It comes from the essence of kesed. We just, the Alter Rebbe had not finished his thought, but because we, we, we're almost at the, we're going to finish it actually tomorrow, this, this, this concept, and we'll understand it much better when we finish it tomorrow, this concept with the Alter Rebbe wants to bring out. But over here, this is where the, 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 the Tanya ends. And we'll understand it a little much more deeper tomorrow, Be'ezat Hashem. Today is the 21st day of the month, which is chapter 104 and 105 in Tilim. Your Psalms, chapter 104 and 105. And in Mitchell, we'll see you all tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Feels like a pregnant pause. Continue.